went slow and steady, really torched specific muscles. Today, we are going to move a lot faster. So whereas the goal was small, slow, uh, smaller range of motion, today we're going to be doing a lot of moves that work muscles together, and we're going to go for a faster pace. So our intervals are going to be 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and we're going to go for four rounds. We're going to be doing the same exercise, boom, 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 four times, okay? Our upper body exercises, I'll demonstrate quickly, and then we'll jump in together. So first one is forearm fireworks. We know this one well. We're going out and in as fast as we can, starting to torch the forearm. After that, we're going to move into the triceps with what I call tricep rockers. You can either come down onto hands and knees, arms are forward, and do this, or if you're feeling like you want more, you do it off your knees and plank. After that, we have external bicep curls, just bicep curls out to the side. And then we have forearm out and in. Don't worry, we'll review all of this. And then on my forearms, I go out, out, in, in. You got the idea. And then lastly, we're coming up into plank and we're just gonna do some arm extension, alternating arms forward, okay? So we've got one, two, three, four, five moves. We're going through them four times each. So the first time you're kind of just familiarizing your body. What are we doing? How does it feel? And then after that, you can continue to pick up the pace. Because we're moving fast today, this is our cardio. So let's really work through it. All right, cycles going, please. If you need breaks, take them, grab water, do what you gotta do. Just give me your best, that's all I ask for. First 30 seconds, we have forearm fireworks. We're going in three, two, and one. Let's go. Yeah. And I get the firework name because to me, my fingers look like fireworks. I'm just gonna go with that. Starting to feel those cycles working, muscles starting to work. The nice thing about the 30 second intervals is unlike our 40 and our minutes, they go by pretty fast. We also have a very short rest time. Last 10 seconds, and we're gonna take a quick rest and keep going. Five, four, three, two, and 10 seconds rest. All right, we know this move, it's safe. So I wanna see you go all out on your next three sets. Arms out, we're going again in three, two, one. Here we go, 30 seconds. Yes, torching those forearms and using your core, the rest of the body, to keep it you nice and stable. The, root, the movement is really isolated in our form. Awesome job, half done. Nice. If you can go a little bit faster, I'm starting to feel it. Lactic acid is building, we have six. Five, four, three, two, and rest. 10 seconds. We are half done with our set. Yay! We're going again in three, two, one. Here we go. Nice. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Starting to get familiar with our cycles and how it feels to be doing this movement at this particular level of pressure. Great. Half done. Keep it going, keep it going. After this, we have one more set. 10 seconds. Squeeze, 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 really fast. Five, four, three, two, and rest. 10 seconds, and we have our final set. I want you to go all out, full pressure, not full pressure, full speed and full pressure if you want. We're going again in three, two, one. Here we go, last set. Great. This is one of our easier exercises in terms of it's really safe to do this. As we progress forward, form is going to be a big thing that we want to make sure that we don't compromise. So as many reps as you can do, as fast as you can go, staying in immaculate form. Last eight, seven, six, five, faster, four, three, two, and rest. Great job. Let's drop all the way down onto our knees for tricep rockers. Now, we want to walk our hands away from the body, but my hips don't shift forward and they don't shift back. So the only thing working here is I drop my forearms down, 
press up and I'm actively pushing the floor away from me the whole time. Okay, so you can either do these on the hands and knees or you can come up, do them in plank. 30 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go, down and up. If you want an extra challenge, don't let your elbows actually touch the floor. Just hover, press, hover, press. Yes, fully extending the arms straight as you lengthen them out. Fantastic. Ooh, my arms are the only thing moving. Last 10. Good. See if you can pick up the pace. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and rest. If you're in plank, you can drop the knees. Give the wrist a roll. All right. Walk those arms out. We're going again in three, two, one. 30 seconds. Yeah. Ooh, making sure that the elbows are in line with the shoulders. We don't want to let our elbows play out to the sides. Good. If you're in plank, you're probably not going to be working this fast. But if you're on your knees, keep going through it. Down, up, down, up. Nice. Last 10 seconds. Ooh, these look great. And we're half done. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. 10 seconds, and we're going to go through our third Set. We're going again in three, two, one. Go for it. Right as we get a break, it's time to jump right back in. Good. Awesome. Quentin looks great. Jim, good. Lily's got it. All right. Go, Dan. Go. Nice tie. Okay, leans on. Oh, we got a solid crew here. All right. Last seven. Six, keep going. Five, four, three, two, and rest. We have one more set. If you have yet to try these in plank, maybe use this opportunity to try them in plank. We're going again in three, two, one. Let's go. Last 30 seconds. Woo! Yes. <laughs> keep going. All right, we are already half done. Give me as many as you can. Keep pushing through. Last big exercise for the triceps. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone hop up, grab water if you want it, and make your way up to stand. All right, external bicep curls. Now, the arms, we're used to doing our bicep curls like this. This time, I want you to use the muscles of your shoulder and your biceps to pull the arms into external rotation. Same bicep curls we always do, and just instead of forward, we're out to the side. Try not to let your arms lock out. Keep some semblance of a bend in them the entire time. First 30 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go. This is my pace. My first set, I'm just getting used to this exercise. If you want to go faster, go for it. Woo, yeah. It is Tuesday. We are moving fast and doing wonderfully. Half done. Pump that weight. Good. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. You can shake it out if that feels good or not. Just letting the lactic acid build. We're going again in three, two, one. Second set. Yeah. Squeeze those elbows in even more. Maybe you can rotate the arms out even more, making sure the spine stays straight, though. We don't want to be doing this. Pump. Good. Awesome. Woo. Last 10. Give me seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. 10 seconds. Half done with the set. My biceps are feeling it. Maybe increase your cycle if you're not feeling it yet. Always a nice little perk of the device. All right, we're going again in three, two, one. Here we go. By all means, go faster. Yeah. Ooh, we. That's the stuff. Good. Half done. 
Don't stop now. In fact, see if you can push yourself even harder. It is safe. You can do it. Last 10. Then we have one more set. Seven, six, come on. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Ooh, my arms are starting to get really heavy. We're going again in five, four, three, two, let's go. Final set. Pump it. After this, we get to come down onto the floor. Woo, my arms are burning. Yes, half done. Keep it up. Nice. Last 10. Fast, fast. Amazing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, quick bicep stretch. Now we're going to make our way down onto the floor. So coming on down to your mat or your workspace into our forearm plank for what I call out, out, in, in, for lack of a better name. So I make my way down into my forearm, nice form, shoulders over elbows. I take my right arm out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. 30 seconds in three, two, one, go. Out, out, in, in. If you can go faster, go faster. Don't let the rest of your body move. Keep it up. Great job, Instagram as well. Nice. Got both of our platforms going strong. Good. I'm seeing a little wiggling in the body. See if you can isolate through the core to really get into the arms. Isolate's not the right word. Activate. That's what we're going for. Last five. Four, three, two, rest. 10 seconds. Drop the knees. All right, let's set ourselves up. Second set. And four, three, two, let's go. Out, out, in, in. Out, in, in. And we want to make sure we're in good form the whole time. So keeping my hips and my shoulders in one long line. I don't want to start piking up. Woo, strong arms, strong chest, strong core. Last 10. Yes, give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees, half done. We're going again in five, four, three, and two. Step the feet out, third set, here we go. Good. Yes. We are flying today. I would rather have you keep going even if you have to slow down your pace than to stop entirely. So if you need to slow down, even if you need to hang out for a moment in forearm plank, that's fine. Just don't give up. Last 10. Then we have one more round. Five, four, three, Two and rest. 10 seconds, and we have our final 30 second sprint. Catch a breath. Make your way into forearm plank. Last set. Three, two, one, go. Out, out, in, in. Awesome. Good. Maybe challenge yourself. See if you can walk those forearms out even further. Nice, half done game. Looks so great. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core. Keep yourself stable. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees, lift your hips up, walk the arms forward for a shoulder stretch. All right, we have one more upper body exercise. So if you break it down, it's two more minutes of work. And then we get to swap out our band. One. So start to walk the hands back towards the body. This time, walk the feet back into high plank position. 30 seconds. Alternate arm reaches. Now, I want you to get your arm all the way up without letting the body spiral open. So my shoulders and my hips stay facing down to the floor the whole time. And I'm just reaching, getting into the shoulders. First set, three, two, 
One, 30 seconds, go. Nice, that's that. And I like this exercise a lot because we're enabling our heart to get, our heart rate to elevate because we're moving the limbs, but also we're helping with shoulder mobility. So when I say pull your shoulders as high as you can, I really mean it, help to open up that joint. Last five, four, looking good, three, two, rest. Drop your knees. Second set, we're going again in four, three, two, and one. Let's go, in plank position, reach, reach. Nice. Our second set, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest. It's fast, and we're doing it. Whew, half done. Yes, great, keep it up, last 10. Keep pulling your heels back away from your body the whole time, and make sure that you're not tipping side to side. Four, three, two, rest. 10 seconds. All right, start to step the feet back into plank. Third set in three. Two, one, go. Awesome. Got some fun lower body stuff on the docket as well. Half done. Woo, there we go. Last 10. If you're comfortable and feel safe, faster. Go, go. Six, five, four, three, two, Rest, drop your knees. In 10 seconds, we have our final set. And one thing that I want us to try and be mindful of is as we're reaching, we're keeping our arms straight. So none of this. Straight arm, okay? Last set, three, two, one. 30 seconds, let's go. Up, up, reach, reach. Whew. Yes. Amazing job. Half done. All right, last 10. See if we can pick up the pace. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press your hips up and back. Pedal out the legs. Walk your hands back to meet your feet. Grab opposite elbow, rock side to side allowing us to stretch our shoulders while still letting the blood cool. Ooh, the breathing slow down for a moment. Grab opposite elbow on top. And then release everything. Roll yourself up to stand. Give the shoulders a shrug. Heart rate should be a little elevated there. And then let's swap out our arm bands for leg bands. Good job. I love the hustle on the first half of our workout. We have five moves that we're doing for the lower body. I'll demonstrate. But first, we have our question of the day. Question is, do, 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 do. What is one piece of technology that you feel that you just could not live without? One piece of technology that is absolutely instrumental to your life. Instagrammers, feel free to throw it in the chat, in the comments, Zoom, throw it in the chat. She says Katsu. Shocking. I love it. <laughs> Steve also says, sounds corny, but a toilet. Would you call that technology? I don't know if that's technology. <laughs> All right. I think Katsu counts as technology. I'm not sure toilet counts, but sure, we'll go with that. Every answer is a good one. Anyone else? Toto high tech toilet is wonderful. Oh, see, I apparently am just in the dark ages with my toilet technology. Who knew? Clinton says either my phone or gaming stuff. Yep. Yeah. John says the light bulb. I love it. John just took it back old school. Like, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Not, see, now that John threw the light bulb out there, I'm thinking much more 
fundamental than phone and whatnot. John also says coffee machine. Yes, I like these answers. George says running water. Are we calling running water technology? We're gonna go with that? Okay, we'll go with that. I would say running water is, I'm, I'm with you. That's definitely an important one. George says try living without it. I have before in another country and it's not easy. All right. So I think the group consensus is the piece of technology we probably can use the most is running water. Not the answers I expected, but the answers that we needed, I think gave us some good perspective there. If you have not had a sip of water, please do so. Stay hydrated. It's summer, it's toasty. Pop your leg bands on and then grab your leg bands. If you have a significant amount of space, tighten them up. It's really hard to go too tight with the leg bands. All right, find those outer straps, whoop, pull them up towards your hip bones. And let's get this workout rolling. Our lower body exercises are overhead ball toss on the heels, up and down. Then we're doing the alternative burpees or hip opening. So I come down into plank, I jump up, squat, rise, squat, jump back. Okay. After that, we have pendulum lunges, backwards, forwards. You know the drill. Okay, those ones we're gonna alternate. Then we have plank to bear. You step into plank, into bear, out to plank, into bear, out to plank. And we're gonna round out our practice with squat forward kicks, or as I call them, zombie squats. So, I don't expect anyone to remember any of these, but you have them now planted in your brain and we'll explore them together. First round of exercises, overhead ball toss, heel lift. Step those feet wide. Grab your imaginary ball. We're going in three, two, one. Drop down, up, down, up. Most important thing here, get your heels off the floor. Yeah. Whew, you want to go faster, do it. Amazing, half done. Working into our calves, smaller muscles than bigger muscles. Last night, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and 10 seconds rest. All right, whoo wee. Heart rate is elevated. We're going again in four, three, two, and one. Down. Yes, keep it up. Maybe get those heels even higher. As you reach up and overhead, do your best to keep your arms straight. Keep it up. Yes, 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 amazing. Last 10 seconds. Nice tie, so good. Good, give me five, four, two more, three, two, rest. 10 seconds. All right, move around, do whatever you gotta do. We're going again in four, three, Two, let's go. Good, keep it up. This is our third set. Looking great. Woo, good. Half done. After this, we have a rest and then we have one more set. Give me five, four, keep going, three. Two and rest. Amazing job. All right, for our last one, I want to see everyone pushing to their absolute limit safely. We're going three, two, one. Here we go. <laughs> nice. Mm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Was I the only one who got kicked off? Are we back? Can I get a thumbs up if you guys can see me? Okay. Bad timing. We're in the middle of a set. All of a sudden, I looked up and everyone was like frozen. And I was like, if everyone else is frozen, it's probably not you guys. It's probably me. Well, the good news is we're done with that exercise. Great job. I don't know what happened. Zoom just booted me out of the meeting. All right. Next up, we have all our alternative burpees. Okay. So we come down into plank position. Remember, there are two squats involved in this exercise. I hop up, squat number one, reach up, squat number two, hop back. If you need to step instead of jump, that's fine. Make your way into plank. First 30 seconds in three, two, one. Let's do it. Good. As you come back down, I want to make sure that you're in a squat. None of this to get back. Get low, then hop back. Half done. Woo, keep going. Let me see one more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. 10 seconds. Awesome job. People were like moving and flying, and it was perfect. Come into plank position. We're going again in three, two, one. 30 seconds. Go. Woo, that's it, keep it up. All right. Looks like we have Killeen and Kaziah today. What a special day. Great job, Instagram. Last 10 seconds, push, push, push. See if you can do two more. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. 10 seconds. Woo, catch your breath. Start to make your way back down into plank. Third set in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Good. Love it. After this, we only have one more set, and then, oh my goodness, we're going to take a sip of water. So much strength. So much wonderful, wonderful ability to use our bodies and all of our muscles combined. Last seven, six, one or two more, five, four, don't stop now, three, two, and rest. 10 seconds and we have our last set. Ooh-wee, maybe feeling a little bit toasty. All right, everyone back down into plank. Final set, four, three, two, let's go. All right, amazing. Good. And I'm using my Katsu cycle for someone who asked on Instagram. Ooh, keep going, keep going. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, even if it's just one more, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone up to stand, grab some water. All right, next up, we have pendulum lunges. Okay, so starting with the left leg. Okay. Hands on hips. We're going to, looks like some people are sending me a chat. Are we good? Okay, okay, we're good. All right, so pendulum lunges, we're going Lunge, center, back, center. Lunge, up, back, up. If you need to tap your toe down in between, that's fine. If you can keep it elevated, keep it elevated. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Each side gets two steps, okay? Starting with the last leg. Three, two, one, let's go. Lunge, up other way up each time I want you to get the back knee down to the floor keep going mm -hmm. 
Yes. Great. Last six. Five, four, three, two, and rest. 10 seconds, and we're gonna go right to the right leg. Quit, and I'll get to you in one second. Okay? We're going again in three, two, one. Right leg, lunge, center, back, center. Lunge, up, back, up. Keep going. Mm -hmm. If at any point the exercises hurt, back off of them. And if it's hurting in your back, you can always come onto your back, pull the knees into the chest, and rock side to side to help wiggle those muscles a little bit loose. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and 10 seconds rest. And we'll do the left side. If it hurts, always take a pause. Okay? We never need to push through. All right. We're going again in four, three, two, and one. Left leg. Lunge. Up, back, up. Forward. Up, back, and up. Get that back knee down. Woo! Mm -hmm. Especially with these, making sure that we're executing good form and we're not just throwing our limb one way and the other. Last six. Five, four, three, Two and rest. We have our final set on our right leg. Then we have two more lower body exercises, our core, and we will be on our way. Right leg, three, two, one. Let's bring it home. Lunge, center. Get that back knee down, center. Woo. Yes. Awesome. Amazing job. Last 10. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Now, there's actually a question that was mentioned in the chat that I think is something that it's important for all of us to address. So 80% of Americans have lower back pain, American adults specifically, uh, very common. And if you notice that your lower back starts to hurt during a workout, usually what we wanna do is try and stretch it. So a couple things you can do to mitigate low back pain, we do these a lot in our workouts, the good morning. So when I stretch my hamstrings, I'm also stretching the muscles of the back, but also uh, providing some strength there. You can always do a good morning. If that doesn't feel great, you can always just come on to your back and rock side to side. So those are two things if I get back pain that I try and do. This one is a little bit safer than the first because the spine is able to stay completely supported. All right, you guys got a nice break. I hope we have a sip of water. If you have questions, we can chat after class. Next exercise, we're coming back down into plank position and we're going plank to bear. So you're going in, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. You can go fast, by all means go fast. One thing you're gonna notice, my upper body and my spine are not moving. I've just got little like Flintstone legs flying there, okay? For 30 seconds, make your way into plank. We're going in four, three, two, let's do it. Knees under hips, back into plank. Woo, that's it. Keep going. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, George, for the input. Last 10. Good, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. 10 seconds and we're jumping back into it. Four, three, two. Everybody in plank, let's go. Maybe you can get those knees in a little bit further as long as your back stays flat the whole time. 
Good, keep it up. Second set, last 10. For our third and fourth set, you'll have an option to make it harder. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Now, for our last two sets, if you want more of a challenge, you can jump in, out, in, out. Okay, so instead of stepping, we're jumping. Good, third set, four, three, two, let's go. Either jumping or stepping. Ooh, I see some jump in there. Quentin, watch your back. You're terrifying me. Just be careful. <laughs> if it doesn't hurt, you can do it. But if it hurts, don't do it. Everyone else, great job. Quentin, great job too. Just be careful. Last 10. Whichever variation you're doing, push. Hardest. Give me everything. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. We have one more set, either stepping or jumping, and then our final exercise of the day. Woo! Make your way into plank pose. Plank position. Last set. Three, two, one, go. Nice, Lily. Good. Kayleen looks great. Ty's got it. Dan's got it. Nice, Diane. Amazing. Half done. The last of our potential jumping for today. So if you're jumping, jump extra hard. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everybody come on up to stand. Grab your water if you want it. All right, last exercise of the day, squat zombie kicks. I take my arms out forward. I drop down into squat, kick opposite hand to foot. Notice as I'm in my squat and as I'm kicking, the shape of my spine does not move. So it's not this just to get your leg up. I want you to keep all of this engaged. All right, let's do it. Feet slightly wider than hip distance, toes angled out 30 seconds. Go, squat, kick, squat, kick. Get those legs all the way up using the muscles of your core. Great. Nice. Notice a little swaying back on those kicks, making sure that spine stays really straight. Yes, now we're talking. Five, four, three, two, and rest. 10 seconds. Last exercise of the day. We're doing great. All right, we're going again. In four, three, two, let's go. Squat, kick, squat, kick. Zombie squat. Nice. Door is amazing. Looks good. I can just kind of see your silhouette against some rocky background. Woo! Last 10. Nice. Five, four, three, two, rest. 10 seconds. And we've got our third set. We're going again. In five, four, three, two. Here we go. Awesome. Get those legs all the way up. Big old kick. Keep the arms stable. Don't let them sway and move. Use the shoulders to keep them strong. Yeah. Last 10. Then we have our final set of the day. Give me seven, six, five. Come on. Four, three, two, and rest. 10 seconds. One more. Catch a breath. Send your arms out. Three, two, one, go. Yes. Nice. 
be mindful of the arms, taking the leg up to the arms instead of dropping the arm down to meet the leg. Half done. Woo! Good. Then we have two core moves that we are going to do for our 30 second set. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. A couple rounds of butt kicks. Open up the quads. Our first core move is called a starfish crunch. Well, I call it a starfish crunch. So what we do, we come down. We're in a crunch position. We go starfish, crunch, out, in. Doing your best to come up off your spine all the way as you bring everything into the body. If it's not possible to go full starfish, go part, out, in, okay? First 30 seconds, three, two, one. Here we go, out, in, out, in, yes. And yeah, our legs are still doing some work here. We have to use them to help our core pull the legs in on that crunch. Half done. Woo wee, last 10. We're going to meet in the crunch position in five, four, three, two, rest. Good, get a nice straight spine, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your knees in. We're going again in four, three, Two, let's go. Out, in, out, in. Try not to let the back of your head touch the ground the whole time. Awesome. People rocking and flying, and it's great. Yes, last 10. We're going to meet in that crunch position in five, four, three, two. Root the feet into the mat. Maybe wrap the shins around up the forearms on the shins for a spine stretch. We're going again in three, two, one. Third set. Out. In. Out. In. After this, we have one more and one more exercise. Fire up that core. Being grateful that we have running water. <laughs> awesome. Last 10. Seven. Six. Give me two more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And rest. All right. Last one. We're going in three. Two, one, here we go. If you're feeling tired, try and slow it down instead of stop it. We worked really fast through our entire series today. So let your body do what it needs to do here. As long as you're finding some movement, that's great. Last 10. Nice, Lily. Good, we'll meet seated in five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone extend the legs long, take a stretch. And our last core exercise, our last exercise exercise of the day is a twist. I root my feet into the floor, I reach the arms up, I twist over to the left, up, over to the right, back up through center. Making sure that you get your spine as straight as you can as you come up through center. For 30 seconds, let's go. Down, up, down, up. Getting as far over to the side as you can without allowing your feet to lift off the floor. Ooh, see if you can challenge yourself. Get even lower. Nice. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come up to sit. All right. Second set. And five, 
four, three, and two. Let's go. Twist. Up, over, and up. Even if you're losing steam, don't stop now. Core is a very, very important component of our whole body health. All right, last 10. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Two more rounds. I'm gonna need my shoulders a shrug just because my arms are working. Third set, three, two, one. Here we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Think about pulling your navel into the midline of the body the whole time. We are half done. Woo, good. Last five, four, three, two, rest. One more set. All right. Final ones. I suggest taking this round even slower. And actually seeing how far you can go. Final set, let's do it. Remember, the only rule is that the toes have to stay rooted into the ground. Use the muscles of the core. As we allow our body to start to slow down a bit, preparing us for the end of our workout. Last 10. I can maybe call it, we can call this like rowing the boat. I kind of like that. I'm, I'm getting canoe vibes here. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Hands come back behind you. Lift your chest up into a back bend. We just did a lot of rounding out of our spine. Nice. And then extend the legs long. Keeping your spine straight, little hinge forward and up. Take a few more. And if getting your spine straight is really difficult, you're naturally sitting like this, then your work is to go straight, relax. Straighter, relax, okay? Good, hinge forward, reach the arms back behind you like they're a cape. Bring the left arm up and around. Bring the right arm up and around. One more time, left arm up and around. Right arm up and around. And then root the hands into the mat, bring yourself up to a stand. And hands on hips, circle them around one direction, releasing everything. Move them around the other way. And our final stretch of the day, we're going to take a big old generous bend into the right knee. Walk my hands down the outer right part of the leg as I, boom, press my hips over to the left, getting into the IT band. Okay, keep pressing my hips over. Maybe bend even deeper into that knee. And make your way up to stand, other leg. Big old bend into the left leg as you walk your hands down it and press your hips to the right. And a little deeper. Start to come back up through center, reach your arms up, bring your hands together, give yourself a round of applause. Happy first day of September. Strong workout, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, Quentin, if you want to hang tight uh, about your back for a moment. Um.